Oh, great. I've been silent this whole time. That's that's awesome. So, uh, to start from square one, I guess, uh, this is Casual Grinder. Happy Wednesday. I was going to do a Fortnite video and uh, got into some complications with their servers this morning. So, I'm over here doing a demo of Planet Base. Planet Base uh, can be found in the Xbox live store uh, it runs anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars and sometimes you can find it on sale for five to ten dollars give and take uh, I bought it on sale and I don't regret it it's a very fun uh, plug-in play for a little bit and just not worry about things you quickly live or die or your base lives on one or the other very harsh survival on a planet atmosphere. So we're going to launch right here out of the gate. Sorry about the first minute of silence. I guess uh, checking to see if everybody's here. That's No, I'm just kidding. I have added extensions to the live broadcast. So if you're listening on Twitch, there should be options um, to touch on the screen and do uh, check up on your subscriptions and other stuff while you're watching me. I'm planning on searching for more entertaining stuff to put in as extensions on Twitch live feed. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Ask for something. I'll add it. I'm all good. Whatever. You guys are the ones on the viewing side. So if you want something specific, just go ahead and hit my comments and ask for the extension and I'll try to add it for you. Uh, we're going to do a new game. And we're going to go on the Class D planet because I still have not unlocked Class F, M, or S. You've got to beat and survive Class D to unlock the other ones, which I have yet to do. And I've only unlocked three of the ten uh, civilization achievements, as you see below it there, in order to move up to Class F and unlock it. So i got to do ten things. And I either run out of food or... And now this is dangerous. You can pick where you want to crash your base at. Where do you want to land? Okay, so you know, I would assume that there is some kind of um, uh, uh, trick, maybe, to where you go, whether it's in a cloud or um, I'm really digging this formation over here. But I bet that's the center of a volcano or something, which is where all those storms are coming from. So I'm going to try to go way out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, constructor bots can also repair structures. Having few will lower the workload of your engineer. Having a few will. Okay. So I've changed my battery. We're going to put in I don't know, 23 minutes. This will go into the Xbox queue on my YouTube page. This is just an Xbox game uh, demo. Basically, I think I'll make a demos folder actually today, which will just be for demos. I've got another demo that I've released today. So I try to make the categories. Okay, so our first goal is to get oxygen to our little astronauts and engineers and stuff here. Wow, I haven't played this forever, so I'm going to have a hard time. Um, um, okay, right now it's on play, play fast, play. Um, shop view down, interior structure, oxygen. So we need... Oh. An O2 generator. So we need that first and foremost. And we're going to just put that, say, right here next to this star base. And we want to go with the largest one that will prevent us from doing it again later. So that's going to give us the most oxygen. Now, they're going to unload manually packages and stuff into here. I'm going to wait a minute because they've got this right now for oxygen temporarily. They are going to run out of oxygen. I guess they don't have oxygen at all. So the reason I built it a little away from this mountain, this is where our mine will be. That way it's 
you know, I played this before, so, uh, um, I played this before, and like I said, I failed miserably. Here's a zoom in left and right trigger. Um, you can click on your little guys if I can figure out how. I'm supposed to be able to click on them. Um, okay, so there's oxygen. Now, it doesn't have power. Uh, it doesn't have... Um, it doesn't have power. It doesn't have... Okay, so RB... LB, LB build. So now we need uh, resource. Resource. Uh, I am not doing well at all with this. Okay, um, I should have played the tutorial mode. It's been so long since I played. Base pad, solar panel. Okay, so we want to build a big solar panel. <clears throat> now, I was getting all these together at the same time because, uh, because we're, we're going to need all this stuff. I mean, okay, and I'm running out of supplies, so I've got to click on this, however I do it. Okay, right bumper, and recycle there now oh man I, we're gonna end up dying out here okay I can't hook up the airlock until this has got power so we're gonna select this and link it to there okay and then we've got to get water water um, that's a battery Water tower, can't do it yet. Landing pad, can't do it yet. Oh, man. Oh, it's because this hasn't got... Oh, my God, guys. Come on, hurry up. Um, You can speed up, but they're going to die quicker. That's one thing that <laughs> you want to be wary of, is that um, you can speed up the process, but they will die quicker. And I'm missing some kind of materials already. I, I don't know. I'm screwing this up. Um, so you guys see here how this would work. So we're going to... Okay. We're going to put the airlock in between the goods and that. Okay. They need the oxygen. See the little markers? This demo may be shorter than I thought. I'm about to die already. I, I haven't uh, seen just speeding it up a little bit. And, uh,. People are dying over here. Oh, they're all dead. I got one guy left. Oh, and he's dead too. Failure. Your colony colonists are now dead. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Um, doing the tutorial is a much better uh, method of <laughs> we'll just do the tutorial here just so you get a better idea <laughs> that was horrible okay so they explained to you kind of how to go about this and I wouldn't be fumbling through the controls <coughs> excuse me god forbid I'm fumbling through the controls
So the idea is you're you're kind of a colonist group, aka funded by a corporation that knows how to extract minerals and stuff from the environment to make a better living. There's distant future trying to establish outposts on a remote planet. Okay, so first thing is to learn the basic controls. Move around with this, 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 and that. Okay. I've even got a little robot down there. You can check out the full camera controls with the help. All right. Top priority after landing is build some basic structures to keep your people alive. You can build structures using the main. You can activate using the left bumper. Okay, most require metal and bio -plastic. You have a limited disease in the ship. Be extremely careful when spending. First thing to do is oxygen generator so you're calling to breathe. When the oxygen spacesuit runs out. So, oxygen generator, and we're going to go to the, we're going to start with the little one, because we did the big one, and, oh, okay, they want me to just, okay. The oxygen requires oxygen, you power it with a solar panel, okay, so, solar panel. Now the solar panel, you need to connect to the oxygen generator to connect structures. To select it with RB, point at it, and then hit A. To link. You can increase the game speed using left directional pad or right directional pad to slow it down, left on directional pad or right. Oxygen generator, look. Waiting for construction. That you will only be able to place structures in such a way that they can to do existing ones. It also needs water. You will need to build a water extractor. Okay, so they don't need to be connected directly, they just need to be on the same grid. Water extractor. We're going to make a small one. Now you should build an airlock so they can get inside. So, airlock. I want it way over here. Waiting on construction. You can speed it up. Right on D-pad twice. Left, right on D-pad twice. Left on D-pad twice. Your colony ship contains food supplies. You can get water from the water extractor. You can now, you can now build a canteen so they can eat and drink. Canteen. Place a canteen. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to speed these guys up since I got air now. I am having to be concerned about. So. Okay. Interior structures always seem to be connected to at least one other interior structure, so colonists can move between them. Some can have components placed in them. You should now build some components in the canteen. A table, a drinking fountain, and a screen for basic entertainment. To build components, use the right bumper to go to the desired building. And then go to Edit. 
and then table, and, uh, water fountain, okay, picture. You can look closer by clicking on it. Oh, clicking the Oh, cool. Okay. Now we need a dorm. So, we're going to go here bed. Nice, hook the dorm to the canteen, good idea. Let's go boys. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I did the tutorial all the way through or not. I probably did when I first got the game to figure out how to play. But doing it outside I think of the order they've got here seemed to have killed me. So kind of following this routine to get started is what you want to do. Um, um, select structure, edit, edit structure, add beds. Power store structures require varying power to function at any given time. If a base requires more power, the structure will shut down, which could easily have the consequences. Solar panels work during the day. The power collectors that can power for later. The wind turbine. Okay, so. We're going to want to build a power collector. I'm going to put that. Oh, I guess I'm following their lead here. <coughs> and I'm going to put a giant solar panel. So we've got limited amount of supplies, as they were saying, so um, if you look at our little thing here, it's coming along actually, um, not quite so bad. Again, this is planet based, you can find it in the Xbox store, um, it's anywhere from 5 to $20 depending on what sales are going on, pretty fun. Power management is a critical part of your base. You will typically need a combination of several solar panels, wind turbines, and clouds to ensure there's a constant power. The main challenges you will face will be maintain a supply of food for your colony. Actually grown in vegetable patch, biodome, and then process and make it in the canteen. We edit. We get the meal maker. Activate men main menu by using left bumper. Biodome growth facility. Right off of the canteen. Good idea. Oh, speed everybody up. I really should build another wind turbine, but I'm scared. Oh, it won't let me because I'm in the tutorial mode. <coughs> Tomato pad, onion pad, and 
waiting on building to be built. Okay, once something's built, I slow time again. Okay, the tomato and onion. There's a tomato. And there's the onion. And that's what the game wanted me to do. Waiting for construction. We can speed this up. It's going to take some kind of biomatter to plant them or something. A little robot. See, I I can't remember if they teach you about robots and fabrication and everything. I think they do. You just can work. Okay, tomato pads have been built. Note the vegetable pads need to be maintained. This does not decay and stop the food. Most structures and quality of ship can be removed with back resources. Select ship by using back bumper. I'm, I don't want to do that yet though. I want to apply it if I have to. Uh, by right. Note you'll only be able to repair structures if it doesn't isolate any of the existing ones. In order to survive in the medium. You'll need to produce more resources so you can build more advanced structures. You can build a mine extract ore from it. Mines will be built in the base of a mountain. They need another nearby to be connected to. So. Activate menu. Go here. Go to mine. Place the mine. Processing plant is a structure where raw materials are processed into refined resource. Metal processor components can generate coal for more. Okay, so then we're going to processing plant. I would think you would want this off of here, right near the entrance. And they're making you put it way back here. That's a long way away. That's a long way to travel with material. Don't quite make sense. Anyway. So these guys are working their little behinds off. My biologists, are they doing their job? Little robots going about his business. Look, they're running all the way over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need water. I need water now. Oh my gosh. He needs water. Is he gonna go get water? Is he gonna go get water? Is he gonna go Are you gonna get water or are you just using it as an excuse to take a nap in the bathroom? I think he did go in and take a nap. He didn't drink no water. Fibber. Fibber. Okay, we're slowing people down. What do we need in here? Metal processor. Okay. Game speed times four. Come on with your processing material there, robot. Here he comes. Here comes the robot with the materials. Build it. Build it. Uh, now your work start going to the mine extract ore. They will then take the ore processor and convert it to metal. Later on, you will be able to use bots to perform some of these tasks. Other construction resource is bioplastic. Bioplastic is produced from starch in the bioplastic processes. Starch is produced from vegetables in the body, like rice or wheat. Not all vegetables are starchy. And that are produce less food. So we need to go here, put in a rice pad. And then 
go in here and put in a bioprocessor. <coughs> Excuse me. Speed up time space. Storage would be the next thing I would think. Storage? That would be important. But anyway guys, I hope you liked my little demo demonstration here. I am going to uh, end this shortly at 31 minutes because I'm going to cut out the first minute. Because it was just on there unnecessarily. Colonists and carrier bots will take the right resources to the required component. Solar panels and wind turbines need to be maintenance spares. If you fail to do this, they will stop functioning. Spares are produced in the workshop component in the factory structure. Tutorial has so far been forcing you to place structures at predetermined locations, but from now on you will be free to place them as you wish. Okay. Um, so what? We need a fact. Oh my god. Okay, so... Hmm... What is this... here? Okay... So we're gonna put the factory out here in the rocks. I wonder if it'll get rid of all those rocks. Yep, sure did. And, um... can't recycle until after it's already done. I should have put it here, probably. Cause it, or what, I, I don't know. I can't remember what they said you use for your factory materials. It's probably both of these, which means they're going to be traveling across here. I put this one too far away. So. Won't let me move. It's just okay, whatever. And then we're gonna go in here, create a machine of sorts. Speed up time. We need more power, I would say. It's it's not gonna let me build anything out of sequence. Okay. Alrighty then. The factory components are by engineers now. Every base to have some basic base so you can pr provide treatment. There. Medics can heal people in the sick bay using medical supplies. So we're going to create a sick bay, but we're going to put it off of the main, whatever that room is, cafeteria. And the um, budget team RS thing. See, you can't really. Well, I would like to hook it to both of these, and I can, I can get one or the other. Okay, but I can get both of these. <coughs> I would guess having multiple corridors would eat up more power and air and all that, which I did that a lot. 
on my free roam one, so that probably killed me for oxygen and other stuff power. Because I had multiple tunnels, like I'd do one here to here, one here to here. So it'd be connected in three directions. But the thing is, if a meteorite comes down and smashes this, that's going to go offline from power, that's going to go offline. And these will still be connected if this gets destroyed. So what I did is I tried to link, like I would link this to this and this to this. So that way if this gets destroyed, this, this, and this still gets power even though that's dead. So making it in like a hexagon um, pattern of connection going around. Um, so I would make it strict as it came off of here and make them into angular patterns so it would all be hexagonal once I was done. And it was using a lot of resources. Probably not a good idea. I guess it's been a while since I did this tutorial, so now I'm kind of remembering basics that I just kind of said, eh, who cares. Okay, waiting for construction. Build us some med beds, come on. Build us a med bed. So if you do this in sequential order to here, I would think that you could slowly over time keep building bigger and bigger units after you get a few giant power cells put in place, then just build a bigger oxygen place, build a bigger med bay, bigger, you know, whatever the needs are, I would say. We have a limited supply of medical supplies, so you would produce more at some point. Medic, medical supplies, plant. Um, so, we need to make medical plants, which is in here, and I guess that's what these are down here, medical pad A, so, that's something I didn't realize, that there was food plants, fiber plant, and medical plant, I was doing them all, thinking I was feeding people, that's probably also part of my problem. Okay, and then um, place structure lab. Oh yeah, we need a bio lab. So we go down here. We're making a lab facility. We're going to put it between Oh, we can't put it there. close. Okay, so I guess we'll put it out here. Yeah, put it out here. Make the big one. Well, let me make the big one. Oh no, I'm going to try making the big one and see if it kills the power in the tutorial or not, because the big one actually gives you the capability to, uh, like later, you can bio-grow food, um, which is like a bio-protein food or whatever you can grow. So if you have a big lab, you can grow, you don't have to worry about building a new lab to grow it in. So I made a huge lab just to see if I can get away with it in the tutorial here. Um, yeah, they're not letting me build anything out of order, but they'd let me build it bigger. Um, that would be something if it lets me fail the tutorial, because I use too much power. Okay, so there's my first little table. But later you get uh, biomatter food sources. I think it's going to go through everything. I wonder if it'll let me just keep building from here, because that would be cool. Um, anyway, waiting on construction, and there it is. Alright, once you have enough resources to keep everyone alive, you can build a landing pad and allow more colonists in. So, you build a landing pad and allow more colonists in. Am I sounding convincing? 
see here. I can land off of a mine, or I can land off of. Uh, I guess. I like this. I like this. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to speed this up. We got all of our people going roundabouts, doing their thing. We can um, peek in here somehow. How is that? Um, camera. Oh, uh, it won't let us in tutorial mode. Well, that kind of sucks. Maybe it'll let us in the new. Okay. Alright, colonists will arrive if the, ba if the base is well run. You know how the basics and can start building your own colony. Good luck. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I thank you for tuning in. Again, this is Casual Grinder with Planet Base on Xbox One, uh, Xbox Live Store. Go check it out. Um, if you like builder games, this this is pretty sweet. Uh, you'll enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you find all my channels like, love, and share. And remember, let me know if you're wanting um, any specific extensions on the Twitch live feed. And I will get that up and running for you. Comment on Twitch or over on my YouTube channel, either or, or even my social media channel. Thank you guys for tuning in and supporting me and what I do. Having fun right now. Later.